Hey, what's going on guys? Kobe here and welcome back to some more daily transfer news. Before I do start, obviously make sure you do subscribe, mainly because a lot of these transfers that we're going to go through, the ones that are basically done deals, we called out in the past and that just shows, you know, like we're going through the right rumours. I only use like validated sites that I'll actually give you like legit potential rumours. Obviously we don't get all of them right, but a lot of these have, that are starting to come in, we actually mentioned in previous episodes. So make sure you do subscribe to get these videos every single day, the transfer videos, and obviously when Peasant FIFA comes out, those videos will also start to come out as well. So we're starting with Jack Wilshire. Now, the rumour started today that he is ready to leave Arsenal on loan. Arsene Wenger wants him to basically start his career again. Um, because obviously, you know, ever since he's broke through, and everyone's like, oh my god, this player is going to be fantastic, best thing ever. And he's never really fulfilled the hype, mainly because of injuries. And Roma are interested in a loan deal for him. And I've also heard that Juventus are now also interested in getting Jack Wilshere on loan. I think if you can keep him fit, he's a very good player. You can just never keep him fit. And obviously, he's got a bit of a, a bad streak, you know, smoking and stuff like that. So he needs to go out and get some first team football. And that's what Wenger's trying to get him. Next up is Thomas Rincon, another player who's uh, hyped as the Yedinak replacement. Obviously, Yedinak has gone. He's gone to Aston Villa. Uh, we mentioned yesterday how Crystal Palace were going to go in for a centre mid, and they are now going to go in for Rincon from... I don't know what team he's currently playing for, actually, but he is the captain of Venezuela, and you know it's an interesting one that he is getting you know linked because he's got that experience. I think he's played for like Hamburg and Germany and a few other, few other clubs. So he's not a bad player at all. And Crystal Palace going in for him means they are really trying to like boost their their team as such. Next up is Carvalho. Good God, what is happening with the transfer window? West Brom are set to improve their bid on Carvalho. It was a £21 million bid for the Portuguese international. However, he does have a bio clause closer to £38 million. So, you know, maybe a compromise might happen. You know, Carvalho has been long due a move away from Sport and Lisbon, but it has never, ever happened for him. So... West Brom, though, that's a, it's an interesting one. I wouldn't have expected that, hit, that team to come in for him. Next up is Dale Stevens, a player who's currently playing for Brighton, and Burnley are really interested in trying to get Stevens. They've now bid three consecutive times. They've latest one being a £7 million offer to Brighton, who are just reluctant to sell at all. Jeff Hendrick is next up, another midfielder that Burnley are interested in him. You know, he had a great Euros, looked really impressive. Hull ready to offer 10 million for the Derby midfielder. I don't think, you know, these are the type of players that Hull, not Hull, sorry, Burnley need to go for. It is Burnley making the offer. I'm not sure these are the type of players that Burnley need to go for. It's just, I don't think they're good enough. You know, the Championship standard players, maybe they're better than Championship standard players, but are they good enough to keep Burnley in the Prem is another thing. Next up is Ryan Mason, a player who looked destined to go to Hull. They agreed a eight million pound fee, is what I was reading. But now Sunderland are seen as the favourites to get that deal done. Obviously, we'll probably match the eight million that Hull will be going to pay for Mason, and they are trying to nip in and get him. Next up is Zaha. Now, obviously, he said he wants to leave Crystal Palace, and looks like he may be allowed that move. However. Crystal Palace are looking for around £25 million for him. The latest Tottenham bid, which is the only club that have actually officially registered interest, the latest Tottenham bid for this guy is £18 million. Now, obviously, Zaha went to Man U and failed, but he wasn't like a first-team footballer for them. He didn't really get his, his full opportunity. I always say full opportunity because he did get it on opportunity at Man U, but he didn't actually you know, play as many games as he probably would have liked. Next up is a big one. This is Luan, a player who's highly rated in Brazil, but... I don't know, you know, Liverpool have apparently submitted a £30 million bid for Luan. You know, for a player that not many people have seen a lot of. You know, usually in the Brazilian league, everyone will be like, oh my god, he's amazing. For example, Neymar was. Uh, Gabriel for Santos, another player who's come through their ranks. The guy that Man City signed, they've all went, yeah, he's amazing. I haven't seen enough of Luan to make a a good valuation as such. So, you know, he's left mid, kind of what we need to do need wingers. And that showed against Burnley when we just didn't have that width. Obviously, Mane is probably the only player who gives Liverpool genuine width. They could do with another player. A left mid as well also suits Liverpool a hell of a lot. Next up is Gabi Adini. Obviously, Everton are going in for him. They are set to uh, see their 19.6 million bid rejected, but that is not going to deter Everton. They really do want to get Gabi Adini done, so they will probably go in with a new, improved offer. 
Next up is Boney, another player Everton won. Both Everton and West Ham will make bids on Boney. Obviously, West Ham just signed Zaza, so I'm not sure whether they will go in for Boney as well. I see this one more going towards Everton's favour. Next up is Lacazette. Now, there's no actual like transfer news. It's more of a update. You know, apparently West Ham bid 43 million euros for Lacazette. That was the Leon present. He said that's what they bid. So they were heavily interested in Lacazette. He still hasn't moved anywhere, and I doubt they he will. Leon don't need cash anymore. They seem to be okay for it. There was a report that you know the Martial transfer when he went to Monaco from Leon that apparently saved them from going bust. So they seem to be okay now when they're rejecting bids like that. Next up is Will Keeney's interesting haul on uh, a permanent deal as well. Obviously, you know, Mourinho's having a big clear out of players who basically aren't good enough. And Hull have inquired about Will Keane to try and get him. Next up is Atsu. He is set for a loan to Newcastle. Another loan for another Chelsea player. Ridiculous. Callum McManaman will be a tr permanent transfer should Newcastle manage to get him. They want to get him to obviously be on the other side from Richie. So they'll have two really good wingers. Oh, I think uh, probably Prem standard. I think Richie's really good. And McManaman, he just needs game time, I think, to be really improve. Next up is Banford. He has completed the A move to Burnley on loan. Again, another Chelsea player on loan. I don't know why Banford doesn't push for a move away from Chelsea. He really needs to get, you know a start and place, a main start and place on one of the teams that he goes to, because he can't just keep him going alone, he's never going to get in the Chelsea first eleven as much as he is a really good player, when you've got Diego Costa and Bashiwai in front of you, and, and even Remy as well in front of you, then you know you aren't going to get that first team position, so that's Bamford that'll leave, but he has joined uh, Burnley on loan. Isco is next up, he's getting linked to the move to Tottenham, apparently Tottenham have made a late Isco approach, Obviously, you know, the amount of like midfielders Real Madrid have, it's just whether Isco would actually play or not. Apparently, Tottenham see it as a chance to go in for him. And also, Musa Sissoko. So, they're obviously looking for that attack and mid-slash right midfielder who can play in both positions. And both of those players with the Bills, Sissoko as well, it was deterred, like, deterred everyone from making a bid with that stupid 35 million valu valuation Newcastle put on him. Maybe they will loosen that as the transfer window begins to shut because... You know, Newcastle have been really smart, but they need to try and get rid of him because of his high wages. Jermaine Lenz, this is one of the people that we called, like, I'd say it was about a week ago that we said Jermaine Lenz would make a move to Fenerbahce. I don't know if it would have been in permanent or loan at the time, but I knew he would go there. He has today gone on loan to, Len to Fenerbahce even, so that shows it. You know, Lenz gone to Fenerbahce on loan. We mentioned how Dick Avocat is now the manager there, and he has picked up Lenz on loan. Danny Ings will remain a Liverpool player as Liverpool apparently rejected eight different offers from eight different Premier League clubs, is what I am reading, including a one unnamed team saying they would have made a bid of £20 million to get Ings to their club. So surely, you know, Ings must be part of Jürgen Klopp's plans. Fabregas is next up. Obviously, Chelsea have apparently agreed a deal for Brozovic. We put that yesterday. And Fabregas now looks like he may go in the other direction. So it might be part of a swap deal. Abel Hernandez is a target for Aston Villa. They are ready to make a £20 million offer. Uh, Villa, new owners, said they would inject cash into the club. And they are certainly doing that. Promising times ahead for Aston Villa as they try and get that promotion push again. Okaka is a done deal to Watford. That is a confirmed deal. Again, another one that we mentioned the other day. And finally, we end on Lazar Markovic. He is ready to go on loan to Newcastle to kickstart his career. Also, adding into these ones as well, Hed not Hernandez, Gnabry looks like he's heading to Bayern on a permanent deal before joining Werder Bremen on loan. And Al Alcacer, I think that's how you say his name, the Valencia striker, has signed for Barcelona in a €30 million Euro move. But other than that, it's quite an interesting one. Carvalho coming to the Prem would be insane. Luan for that 30 million move, potentially. Wilshire going to the three array. Can we see that happen? But guys, if you did enjoy, let's try and get 20 likes on this video. Big, big transfer video. We pretty much filled the whole thing and had to actually mention two others as well. So if you did enjoy, let's try and get 20 likes, as we mentioned. And I shall see you tomorrow for the latest transfer news.